What's up, people? This is Triple T Media. We outside with it. Today I got celebrity photographer, celebrity media, press pause gushes. Okay. They don't know a little bit about you. A little bit about me. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things about me. <laughs> Name's Kay Leto, repping Jersey from New York, repping Philly too, because I'm always out here. Shout out to the PPA because they always harass me. But that's a whole other story. Let's get back to the humbles again in the Press Pulse Productions. Started it just meagerly taking photos at random fashion shows, not knowing what was going on in life or even how to work my camera. I actually shot my camera in a very awkward position, pause at first. But then I just learned the networking and everything. And just how I met one of this guy. And I actually met um, the, cam the camera handler, Chelsea, too, at fashion shows. And then fashion shows kind of lifted me off from there. And now I'm here today after getting interviewed because I'm relevant to an extent even after the point. That's, that's, that's what's up, that's what's up. So at what point do you want to become a photographer? Like uh, like uh was photography something that you always wanted to do or was it just like one day you like I got I got a camera so I'm gonna see what I mean nah photography wasn't always something I wanted to do. Do like at first, I wanted to be a computer engineer, but I sucked at math, so I was like, that, right. that, that ain't work. <laughs> then from there, well, I don't even know what I wanted to do. I got into audio visual in high school because they, because in high school I had a co op program, but I couldn't do a co op program because I didn't have a car. So they tossed uh, me into the audio visual thing that they was trying out, and from there, I kind of got interested in photography and video. Went to college for all that, but sitting there went to college in the first place. Another story, too, that we'll dive over to a later date, or he wants to get into it. But right. anyway, but then photography, yeah. Then I also just like the aspect of video and photography and stuff. At first, I was broke, so right. I couldn't do nothing right. with it. So I just always had a phone, not this nice of a phone either, because <laughs> smartphones didn't exist back then. That's right. how old I am. That's how old my <laughs> age. But I'm still used to it. They know greatness and all that stuff. Anyway, yeah, so I was taking photos like this and everything, but I'm like, this ain't going to really work for photo shoots because you're going to look like a creep. Right. So I finally got my bread up like a grown man and I was able to buy a camera. All and right. that led me to the fashion shows and then blah, 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 here today. All right, so, uh, so, uh, what's photography and doing, uh, media or something that was taught or was it something you learned on your own? Man, I learned everything. I bought that camera and ain't know how to work that do that. I'll just push some buttons. People mention stuff like ISO and aperture. It took me probably like two years after having a camera to even know how to do that stuff. Okay. Like I said, I was going at those cameras events, shooting on auto, shooting with the screen on, <laughs> <laughs> wasting mad battery. Just auto focus on like everything. Like I'm trying to catch fashion shows. So everybody's just like, <laughs> like it wasn't working. Everything was usually blurry. I don't even know how I got in New York Fashion Week. It was a bootleg New York Fashion Week show, but it's still a stat. Yeah, I was only doing photography like four, like four months, and I think we were fashion. Week. Ha. It was during the process, you know what I'm saying? But coming up, so uh, oh yeah, so um, so when you had your first chance uh, doing a bit uh celebrity event or even just fashion show or whatever, uh, how was that moment? Like your first time, with the camera. Yeah, and uh, take some, take some pictures and stuff like that. My first celebrity event, I guess you were there again once again. It's funny oh, how things right. all align. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. brotherly love. He's so many years with his brother. Yeah. <laughs> the brotherly love for me at the. Um, that was your first event. The first celebrity event. Yeah, you want to consider that celebrity event because most of the cast didn't even go. I was looking for Kiki. I didn't run into Kiki Palmer until years later, thankfully, but still, I was mad that night. But I digress. But yeah, the brotherly love premiere. It was cool. I met Neef from the Young Guns the first time, and I grew up on the Young Guns. That's my era, so that was dope. Michael Blackson was there. Um, some other people. Kendrick, the family soul, first time meeting them there, too. It was like, it was a cool experience because I like, knew all these people, but it was the first time seeing all these people in person, so it was interesting. I wasn't doing interviews and I was doing photography, so I was just. Um, learning the game, watching people on the red carpet, how to conduct yourself and all that. It was like a very novel experience. I, I've been at so many events with this brother. I, I thought I could have swore your first event was at the, uh, the Breakfast Club, you know, the anniversary jump. That was later on in the year, man. That was, that was, that was before the. Uh, nah, nah, that was like cause the Brotherly Love Joan was like April yeah, of 2015. The Breakfast Club was December. That was like like a few months later. Uh, I don't know. It's been so many events. Yeah, you kind of lose track of the game, especially when you're nice with it like this. <laughs> so, uh, so you, I know you had worked with so many like different uh, 
people who were behind the camera and had uh, on do different interviews. Oh, yeah. What, what, uh, once, once you, why did you to get other people to do interviews for, for you and stuff like that? Because I, my background, was just, like I was in college, I had a um, talk show called The Midnight Show with Kay Leno. That's where Kay Leno oh, actually man. came from. It's like a spoof of this night show um, with Jay Leno. Of course, Midnight, because we did it real late, and I'm black. So, <laughs> like a double entendre. So, right. basically, like, I was in film production, like, classes in my major. But I wasn't really doing film production because everybody always wanted to put me in front of the camera. Yeah. So, like, when it came to every reason and everything, I knew the technical know-how just by just being in classes too, even though I didn't get to really do all that stuff. It was just like, uh, I like to soak up the game and I was from the surf, so I knew all that. I knew how to edit and everything. So I'm like, if I use myself, I can use, I've done interviews like that, so the tripod. But it's like, the way my mind works, I'm thinking about what's going on, on the other side. So I can't focus on the questions and think about what's going on, on the other side because I'm having a brain freeze sometimes. So like, it's easier for me to hold the camera, have somebody else do it, and also get in there shot. And one of these interviews might blow up. At the end of the day, I don't want to think something. Money. I don't need to be walking on the street and keep you know what's and all that stuff. I like yeah, to be no key with it. Yeah, so yeah, because like I said, you, you gave like a lot of people opportunities to be in front of the camera and to be celebs at uh, certain events and to be in that mix of what media, what we do, like <laughs> the stuff we do. And uh, yeah, a couple of people actually work for actual real stations now. I wouldn't, I'm not going to take all the credit because yeah, all these yeah. people have brands, but yeah. it's just dope to see yeah, that yeah. they actually could have something from mine to put on their already established portfolio. Yeah, yeah. So, we're going to get into how, so how you come up with the name Press Pause Production? They came up with the name Press Pause Productions because, like, with the video, I, with, uh, what's I'm called? With video, you like it's emotion, so you're going yeah. forward and that's play. Yeah, yeah. Press Play Productions are taken yeah and i thought right. about press pause because i was really doing photography what's photography it's called mo pause motion <laughs> so press all pause right. productions all right that's what's up that's what's up that's what's up so uh during your times i know you've been in many events seen many celebrities so what what's on your greats moments during your media photography whatever during the whole time you've been doing everything greatest moment denzel easily Denzel, Denzel was a buckle of his moments since I started. Then to finally get to interview him and meet him, like that's easy at the top. Angela Bassett, and that was all the same. That was the same year too. So I was like doing mad stuff, and it was like the year right before Corona. So I was kind of mad because I like I was on fire in 2019, <laughs> and then the freaking pandemic like that. But now we're opening up, and watch what I have to next. Will Smith are coming for you, Jamie Foxx. I kind of got you, but we are working on that. Beyonce. Drake, <laughs> I'm not even a big name, but watch it happen. Yo, I'm See, I, 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 I was just, I was just about to get ask you, like, so, so, so who are some of the celebs that you would like the opportunity to get in front of a press pause, press your camera, uh, possibly take picture or interview? Man, we got aim for the stars, like the yeah, upper, yeah, the upper, yeah, the upper echelon, like Drake, Rihanna, Beyonce, Rihanna, yeah. Barack Obama, yeah. like you got to take high, Jay Z, Nas. Jay -Z, yeah. All like all the big dogs, all the legends, like Will Smith, like all those types of people, like you gotta aim for the skies and like possible. Cause at first, I never thought I would be able to like them, meet themselves and interview them, but it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was exclusive. There was only like two other people in the room doing it, so yeah, it was like yeah. it was like actual news station that didn't get the interview, but I did. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm all self funded. I do everything myself outside of like partners, like either like correspondents or even when you guys help from time to time. But it's yeah. like it's not no big corporation, not like nobody putting batteries in my back. Yeah. Or like it's, uh, some corporations, like some like drug dealer or something helping them out. It's like no legal funds. It's all honest hard work. That's it. So listen, like, listen to kids, you don't have to be in the streets or nothing like that. You can just do what you got to do. You don't need to do nothing crazy. Like legitimate business and still be your own boss. Yeah, so I was about to say like, so like, Somebody that is trying to get into media, uh, photography, like kids coming up or who, uh, like what, what's some suggestions you want to say for them to get into that, that circle of like being to get into the events and, and celebs and stuff like that? Kids have it much easier than we do now because like they have access to YouTube. Like think of it, it's like a kid that just reviews toys and makes like 20 million a year. That wasn't a possibility. Us. Like, 
And now a lot of people don't even have cameras. There's been, there's been plenty of events in New York. People just have tablets and like an LED screen, yeah. and they still do it. Well, and they still do it. Yeah. So like, work with what you got at the end of the day. And as long as the content's good, people won't watch. And then when you can build up, you can get better. Like you go know, from one camera setup to a two camera setup. Sometimes you don't even need all that. You see people with a bunch of equipment, and it's just I look at them like, why are you setting all that up for like a three minute interview? I usually just travel with my backpack camera, a light. Keep it pushing. I don't need all that stuff because at the end of the day, you're just wasting time when you can be moving on to the next. And then you potentially, depending on where you at, you potentially can risk yourself getting robbed. <laughs> Let's be real. We just had an incident in Chester. <laughs> Stay tuned for that on his channel. I'm not putting it. Stay out. tuned for the bloopers. I am not putting that out. I have nothing to do with that. So, uh, so who, so, so who is this? Some like photographers or media people you get inspired by or? Up to or not look up to, like inspired by. Look up to, yeah, <laughs> like I look, up, I, I look up to Jehovah God. God. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really say look up to. All right, yeah, no, but I'm mentor saying. and like people I recognize as like legit and hard people. First, I gotta start off with you met him before, Doctor L. That helped me a lot, Doctor Stanley L. From Radio. Shout out, Doctor Stanley. And, like he's helped me a lot. Like even before Press One was done, he still helps me today with stuff. Yeah. Just, just from just handing me equipment I even asked for. He's like, oh, I got this. Hey, take it. I'm like, oh, that cool. Then like you, you, my brother, you helped a lot too. Chelsea, who's on camera right now filming, because this thing is not, this is a weird looking tripod. It's kind of suspect. And <laughs> stay up on its own, so. We got help there from John in the back. Shout out to Rick Bones. Rick shout out to Tiffany. Shout Tiffany. out to Shannon. Shout out to Lito Takeover. Takeover. Shout out to Jasmine. Come back to Jersey. Jasmine, we like, miss you. Just, yeah. Going and, down ATL. It's like, it's so many <laughs> people names. Alexis. Um, Alexis. Busybody. Uh, like, I'm going back. Um, Miss Dang. Day. Shania. Curtis, my boy, Curtis Moore. Shout out to him. It's like, it was been so many people that's like working with press balls over the years. Shout out to all the that's billion true. brand, even the billion brand, yeah, Aaron Tim. It's like, I'm trying, I'm trying to leave people. All right, I also want to shout out to Lanisha David, who just graduated and is going on to do great things with Mahogany Gold. Check out her business. Like, yeah. check out press balls productions. It's just like, it's like so many people. Yeah, check out his page. And they all dope. They all, oh, Felicia, Rachel, Felicia, all this. Like, like I said, it's like mad names to me. Snapshot yeah. Anderson. <laughs> so, uh, I was just about to ask you, you know what I'm saying? You got any shout outs when you you already shout them out. So, Victor <laughs> Victoria Shaw, shout out to her too. Shout out to Victoria. <laughs> look out for uh, so, yeah, yeah, anything else you want to say to people on the camera? You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, tell people where they can find you, social media page, whatever. All right, y'all can find me in the streets of KA from 9 to 5. <laughs> Corner just filming the whereabouts and nah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't need to be out there like that. Is <laughs> it like that? No, nah, 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 because, nah, because, because the thing is they got a cold stone right by there. So like, <laughs> well, like we, we buy cold stone right now. I don't, I don't even go that cold stone. It might not be nah, 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 it's, nah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's interesting types, but yeah, nah, but I'm just, I'm just be around Jersey, New York, Philly, mainly Jersey lately because nothing's been open, but. Getting in the groove of things, so I'm around. Um, right. Channels uh, right now, the most active one is uh, my regular one, K underscore little on Instagram. You can follow the press press dot pull dot production on NRG too. We're kicking that back up since things is open. Right. And still, there's press pause showing Twitter. I'm not really that. I'm not really on Twitter like that, but still right. follow it anyway because numbers matter in this business. Right. K Leno on Twitter. Um, I'm on TikTok. I'm, I'm basically on everything. So I probably, you, know, you can probably still find my MySpace too, but I wasn't kidding. None of them back then, so <laughs> there was no press post productions either. So I updated that. So that might be hard to find because you're not getting my government name. <laughs> so you can find K Little on just about any social media platform. Also, um, you got press post production, uh, Instagram page. Oh yeah, Sorry. YouTube. Subscribe to that. Y'all yeah, be why, like don't just watch. watch no, the watching helps. I need the <laughs> subscriptions too. That's definitely what helps. Yeah, definitely. Out, so don't just subscribe to YouTube. Subscribe to my brother's channel too. Follow. Yep. Subscribe to Chelsea. Subscribe to Rijan Wilson Photography. Yeah. Just um just support independent black media. Like because we all do similar things and it's never no ego or rivalry. Like there's no reason for all that. Everybody can get along. Um, cohabitate. There's enough money, enough yeah, opportunity, <laughs> enough interviews for everybody. I see it all the time. It's like fighting amongst people, especially at those tight red carpets. They be like, yeah. like it'd be mad yeah. extra. Like, I'm not even that type of dude, but it's like, I'm smacking the sweats out of you. <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, look, yeah, this red carpet, I ain't trying to get black for Because that's how that was near, but it was yeah. in D.C. Um, 
I'm not gonna name the event because <laughs> I don't wanna put it was a good event, but yeah, it was a little yeah, yeah. like it was a little tight. They shouldn't have had all the people on a red carpet. Trust uh, me, yeah, we we've we been there. Yeah. <laughs> and some of these photographers, especially uh, be pretentious, like, oh you know, I've been around for yeah, thirty years. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. but I'm right next to you. Yeah. yeah. I'm like like it ain't even like that. Like when I'm old and gray, I wanna help you. So that's why I work with the youth now. Well, before this when I, I used to work at a lot of schools and boys and girls stuff. So I'm gonna try and get into that as things get better, right? But as of right now, I don't know what, what point I was, but anyway, keep that in. I, it's, it's cool. Like yeah, I said, that's yeah, definitely in the brain part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I can like work in twenty miles a minute in my head. Like yeah. All right, Triple T Media, Press Cross Production, Caitlin. This is how we going to do it. This is how we do it. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> it was Saturday, not Friday. Night. <laughs>Yo, what up, y'all? It's Ray J. Listen, it's one of the hottest shows out production. Philly, what up? Squad. Press pause. What up, world? It's me, Quincy, and you're watching. Press pause productions. Believe that. Hey, yo, what's up? This is King Combs. You already know. Go to Press Pause Productions and see me. Exclusive interviews. You know what it is. The bad boy. Hey, what's up, everybody out there? It's your girl, Maya. You. Yo, yo, you already know it's your boy Davies, man. Make sure you tune in press pause. to Press Pause Productions. What's happening? It's your girl, Estelle, and this is On me, and we are here. Ah. Press Production. What's up, hey, y'all? What's up, it's y'all? your girl, girl EVE, and production. this is Press Pause. Hey, yo, peace, world. It's the love king of R&B, Raheem Devon here, the humanitarian leader of the Love Life Foundation. Yo, what's up, and it's Press Pause Productions. What's up, guys? It's Tara Wallace from Love & Hip Hop for the Kids, and you're watching Press Pause Productions. You already see where we at. Press yo, yo, what it do, man? You man. L's up all day. Appreciate your love. Press Pause. What was the best advice they've given you? I've met a lot of people. Get him! Get him!